Hello everyone, I am back at Beaver with what many would class as a bit of a decent team. Myself, Simon Ward, Kev Joblin, Phil Burt and Prue Ward. What I would call a pretty efficient team. The shooting was based around the more traditional parts of Beaver. Large hedgerows and gentle sloping valleys. Surprisingly this made for some exciting shooting as wave after wave of very strong flying partridges came on the wind, curling and twisting, sometimes at the very last moment. You had no time to think really, and there were many last minute manoeuvres to get on these little exercises. Very exciting, what I would call fast, instinctive shooting. Great day, great sport, and of course a great location. I do hope you enjoy the film. Well, this is a, a great occasion. We're on a very traditional day at Beaver again, but on their more traditional drives. And we're in some very, very good company. I've got Simon Ward on my left. You couldn't get a better uh, lineup than this. Kev Joblin from Jervo on my right. Brew Ward, Simon's other half. And uh, the, at the very far end is Phil Bird. It is a lovely breeze actually, fantastic breeze. Uh, not too strong, but it will help these birds go. Fantastic when you come to these, these great English estates and you see the amount of uh, predators here, buzzards. I mean, when I were a young lad, you never saw these things. Great to see them now. I'm using uh, it did a traditional game load, the 32 gram 6 game bore, clear pigeon. And uh, I've done various tests in the past of these, uh, these little loads and they are a fantastic patterning cartridge. I was just, I was just uh, talking about traditional shooting today and it doesn't come any finer than this, does it? No. It's, you know, it's absolutely fantastic. It's super dry. Well, it is traditional, yeah. and the, leaving these hedges and shelter belts, yeah. and people always imagine flat yeah. ground, oh, yeah. I'm not shooting flat ground, yeah. but actually there's some of the best, that's part yeah, of shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and as we go into yeah. the valleys now, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it is traditional, yeah. but not quite as it's yeah. always been done, certainly yeah. in Lincolnshire. No, hey, nice. It's a proper day for it now, Phil. Right, after many, many requests, I'm going to shoot a 20 bore. And this is the, the 20 bore Browning Bow Champ B15. It's an absolutely fabulous looking gun, beautiful timber, a lovely engraving, it is a picture of a gun. I'm shooting through it, the 32 gram fives, game bore, black gold, 
going to get some nice birds here as well to try it on. First impression, it does, it does come up nice. I must admit, it does come up very nice. But the proof is in the pudding. Well, first impressions, uh, I actually enjoyed shooting that. I missed the first bird out, but that's purely not swinging the gun, not, not the gun, it was me. And then uh, I got picked some nice ones out of the two or three flushes, one or two at the back of my friend as well. So, um, very impressed really, you know, it's not just a, a smart looking gun, it shoots well. What do you think is the best way to encourage youngsters back into shooting then, Pro? Well, I think I think the first thing you have to introduce a lot of children is just the countryside. Yeah. Mm. A lot of children don't even know what get, get even get into the countryside, do no. they? No. And that's. I mean, if there was a, you know, the thing I think the way only really way to get children back into the countryside is to get. It'd have to be a government initiative where they'd give the schools the money because a lot of it's about money, isn't it? Yeah. But to have at least one trip. A term where they took the children out to, you know, wherever, somewhere near where they are. Yeah, Emma has four thousand children a year ah! to her ah! chat, you know, mm. the cricket ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's brilliant. That isn't it? It's yeah. a brilliant initiative. That because they all and we finish get the up. hounds down. We get yeah. John, big John does the sort of taxidermy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And because once um, people get in the countryside, then they see what else got goes to see on. the countryside. Yeah. Mm. It's really uh, sad though, isn't it? To think how many children never get. I mean, there will be children who live in London who might be 17 or 18 years old who've never even been in the country. They're not born as an auntie. No. no. You know, no. they're indoctrinated by socialist teachers mm. and parents that think we're just yeah. killing things, you know. Which is also a misunderstanding, isn't yeah. it, a lot but, of it, isn't it? Well, the reason all this is here is really mainly for the shooting. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. and it's, 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 the, it's the country life. We've got to get people to accept which the, the truth, which shooting is the biggest conservation tool that we've oh, got. The yeah. biggest, yeah. the biggest. And it's just hard to get that over to people. Yeah. It's it's rife for jealousy, of course. Yeah. Mm. But why and, uh, is there not a sort of proper body of people? Because there's so many intelligent, articulate and, and knowledgeable people in the shooting world where they're, they're, they're actually, that is their job, is to sort of promote shoot all the, the good side of shooting. It yeah. seems like it only happens when somebody like Chris when somebody back. throws when somebody throws a stone through yeah, the window. It's not a continual you know. sort of thing, is no. it? It's, and it, it, it's sort and, of and some of the some of the world within shooting, um, they they jump on the bandwagon with this bag size mm. and whatnot. Mm. Look, you know, it's nothing to do with that, and and that's dangerous in yeah. the shooting yeah. world because. You know, that is how we do it. That is commercial yeah. shooting, you know. Yeah. Without that the means. commercial shooting, lots of the shoots wouldn't exist, would they? No, not, a, not a chance. What you, get, what you get over to the public is that the gamekeeper yeah, is the guardian of the countryside, yeah. Phil, and the you, you cannot explain <laughs> to people enough. No, 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 no. Who's got, when these are gone, who's going to, who's going to yeah. police it? Yeah. And that's, we have got our, we, we have got yeah. our it's own police end. force in the in the in the countryside that cost the taxpayer nothing it's but, all paid for by paid but, for privately exactly and the, but the great thing is we fight it we fight every corner and we do not give in no because the second we give in we stay as a unit yeah and we fight it and you know if we do that we will preserve wildlife yeah. but once it's gone it'll never come back yeah The wind has picked up uh, 
he's very strong now, and I think he's going to try and. There's a lot of wild partridge in these, wild greys, but we're not allowed to shoot these. But uh, we can tell the difference because they do squeak a bit. As I know uh, Nick, the egg keeper, is trying to get these birds. Normally, we would have stood further up in the field, but this, the wind's that strong. He's, he's trying to get these to come down the valley and curl on the on the guns, which will make it a lot more exciting and a lot more difficult. I've got some nice crosses up there. Yeah, I think. Well, I thoroughly enjoy this, what we call traditional party shooting. Absolutely fantastic day. But it's, it, the wind's made it, of course. It's been a pretty brilliant day with the wind. And these little birds, as soon as they've got into that wind, they've curled and done all kinds of things. And made for some very exciting shooting. You know, you can't knock these, uh, these traditional shoots, you know. You don't need deep valleys. The banking of trees is usually enough to get a, a good lift out of any partridge. And a good hard working bird and they do show well, especially on, on the, the type of wind we've had today, so absolutely fantastic day, loved it. <laughs> well, there's a reason for that. Yeah, because I'm a better shot. Go on, have a bit of a lunch. Yeah. No. Bye bye, Kevin. It's been lovely to see you. Take great care. Yeah, we are.